Hey guys, it's Sassy Assassin here. So I'm just coming back on here because I want to let you guys know that I actually do have C. diff. I just got a call from the hospital letting me know that I have C. diff. I'm not surprised. I said that before in my previous video, but um, I'm just fed up to be honest because I feel like I have been sick so long that it's just like all the goals that I had, you know, with my weight loss journey, especially, you know, and the content that I wanted to create. And, you know, I started doing YouTube, my weight loss journey on YouTube because I wanted to share my story and share my journey with people. And I knew that it, there wasn't going to be perfect and that I was going to have plenty of ups and downs but I just wanted to share it with people and when I look at I was looking at like my my weight loss journey videos and I'm like oh my god I, I, it's just like the same thing over and over again like I'm always coming on there with reasons why I couldn't work out I couldn't do this couldn't, couldn't do that and some of them were okay so there you know a few of them were like I you know how I was doing okay I was working out I was very motivated and then a lot of them were just like, oh, you know, I've been sick, this and that, and this is why I can't do this, and this is why I can't do that. I'm just like, I don't want to come back on to, come back on and, like, with, on a, like, weight loss journey slash life update and be like, okay, this is, now this is the reason why I haven't been able to work out. So, that being said, I just honestly need time to straighten myself out weight loss journey wise health wise before i come back on youtube and start sharing my journey again so it's gonna be a while i don't i i don't have a time frame for you guys but um i just i just need time i need time to figure things out and you know, for a while, and what's really kind of made me, it kind of got me to this point is that when I'm looking, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm also a reaction channel, and when I look at Chantel, Amber, Amy's Life Journey, and all those weight loss YouTubers that are basically car a carbon copy of Amber Lynn Reed, I look at all the pitfalls and, and stuff like that and I look at how they've gone about things and how it's turned out disastrously for them and I'm like I don't want to make the same mistakes I don't want to just make videos for the sake of making videos and make, you know I, when I if I you know when I do this I want to do it right I want to I want to do it in a healthy constructive way that's you know and not get lost in the like because I'm not making any money but you know maybe at some point I will make money and I don't want to you know, I don't want to fall into, to, to, I'm going to say the Anne Boleyn Reed curse, because <laughs> I feel like she's, in a way, she's cursed. <laughs> um, she's cursed herself, so, yeah, I mean, and the reason why I came to the, I've gotten to this point is because when I look at them, I see a lot of myself in them, even though I feel like in a lot of ways I'm a lot more grounded and further in my journey than they are, I still see a lot of myself in them, and I found myself making some of the same mistakes, and, um, that's why I just need time to evaluate. You know, the reaction videos, they're honestly something to do. They're honestly, like, a, a brief dis dis distraction from what's going on in my life. They, they don't take a lot of time honestly <laughs> and um again and I'm gonna keep on saying this the reason why I do reaction videos particularly on people like Amberlynn, Chantel and hopefully soon Amy's life journey is because of the toxic narrative that they bring on the YouTube platform and but, you know, and I'm going to say this again, because I know I stated this in my, in my last video that I did, but 
Amber states that we all hate her and we hate people like her, Chantel, Amy's like Jeremy. We hate them because they're fat. And it's not true. We hate them because of the toxic narrative that they bring. And the problem with what's happened is that channels like Amber have cropped up. And I think it's because of Amber's influence on the platform. And that person doesn't necessarily have to be a morbidly obese weight loss YouTuber. It could be anybody. But I've seen this circulation, this uprise and circulation of these type of people on YouTube. You know. So, I mean, I'm used to Jan. I mean, he started way before Amber. And I can't help but wonder if maybe Amber, like, at some point watched Onision and like started modeling her own channel like like his but like I, I highly doubt that Onision in a lot of ways is a, another kettle of fish but um you know you know if we don't speak up you know about uh, sorry like can't help but mess with my hair because it's so soft if we don't s speak out against people like Amber people like Chantel, people like Amy's Life Journey, and others like them. And I'm, like I said, I'm not exclusively saying, like I, you know, like I had said before, like just in the weight loss community, I'm, ex I'm ex saying more like the type of structure and like that Amber Lynn Reed has brought onto the platform if we don't speak out against it, then it's going to continue. And the more that people speak out against it, the more that, the more attention that it gets. And maybe the more likely that people in the right positions will take notice of it. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the fact that Onision still has yet to be taken off YouTube even though he's been taken off several other, other social media platforms, is just scary to me. I mean, <laughs> but it needs to be, the, you know, un the right circumstances and um, needs to be in a way where there's no likelihood that he'll come back because I just heard that he is not back on Twitch. So it's like, and then the whole Instagram, him being taken off Instagram, I am inclined to agree with Mike and actor on that. Like, he, I, I think Instagram's gonna, like, allow him to come back on Instagram. So, I, I think in order to successfully deplatform somebody like Onision, who is toxic and who is harmful to people, um, it needs to be, like, you know, I agree with Mike and actor. It needs to be on, under the right circumstances. And it needs to be in a way where there's no chances of them being able to come back like I feel like I, I feel like Onision needs to just be banned from the internet like I've actually heard people having like been legally banned from using the internet I think there was one case of a stalker that was stalking this girl that she, um and he also stalked Ivanka Trump like he, he actually got banned from using the internet I believe no it was somebody else I, I watched too many true crime daily but they were somebody that was stalking this girl and um I know it was this college girl whatever and he went to the prison for a couple of years and like now he's out but he literally got banned from using the internet for the rest of his life and I think that's something that needs to happen with Onision <laughs> like he needs to be like officially banned from using the internet Anyways, I can't believe this has gotten, like, I'm rambling, but, um, just want to let you guys know what's been, what's going on. And if you're all, if anybody who actually watches my weight loss content, I, if you're wondering where my, my update has been, that is why. So, I guess it's turned into a little bit of an update, but, um, I was just afraid to talk about it for a bit. I, I, I needed time. And honestly, actually, the day that I was going to actually do upload a video was the same day that I actually started with a C. diff. And I had a whole day planned out. I was going to go to my doctor's, go to the gym, come back, 
take a shower and then do a video. Didn't, didn't pan out. <laughs> so, excuse me. So, um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and, um, yeah, just peace out my ninjas.